Hello guys, this is your Dr. Shivam and uh, finally we are over with the CROC1 crash course of 2021. So here we are going to look at the question papers and hope that you all have solved all the questions two times and this is the third time when I am solving, discussing with you the question paper and all my students who have taken the class and every, all syllabus have been covered so this is going to be the reason for you and also I will give you the last moment bullet points including flashcard. Okay, so let's begin. So when we start from the first question, it says that uh, there uh, there is uh, a patient with the arterial hypertension with what long-acting drug for the calcium channel blo blocker? And so calcium channel blocker that is uh, amlodipine is the only drug is here. And uh, if you look at it very carefully, I also told you that uh, whenever you whenever you see the trick, if you rem remember my trick that I said that whenever you have low, that is the beta, okay. And here amlodipine, amlo, so it is calcium blocker okay this one is for the beta this one for the calcium and here it is alpha blocker reserpine is a diuretic that also trick I, mnemonic centric i told you uh, yeah and uh, octadine is also used for the hypertension but in case of uh, when uh, that when there is git circulation is involved okay so let's go for the third uh, second question in the second question it says that uh, the here here, a dry cleaner worker have been have been found to have the hepatic steatosis, and the path the pathology can be caused by the disturbed synthesis of the following substance. Simply, uh, so guys, I think you know that I ha in the class I have told you again and again that uh, since two thousand nineteen, hepatic or liver failure, liver failure is one of the most important and very very common topic which is being asked okay so in the flashcard i have mentioned this one already so in the uh, so next level what you how you have to solve this question that hepatic stosis first you need to know that what is this what happened that we have our healthy li healthy liver so this one is our healthy liver then there is a, then prolonged there is going to get to the fatty liver and then it goes to the fibrosis and then it is cirrhosis okay or we can say simply there is a uh, metabolic disturbance now what happened that here in the hepatic stosis stosis is a case where we can easily say that it is the case of fatty acid deposition okay now what happened that uh, uh, out of this how you have to uh, give the answer to get the correct answer you know, uh, it regarding the fat okay if you remember i have told you that uh, there are uh, there are the three i mean let me remove this one this. okay so here what happened that uh, this one is the this one is the simply uh, simply we can say that it is it is uh, disturbed synthesis of protein dime so here uh, what is uh, like substance so it is hepatic steatosis so first first it will be normal liver then there will be the fatty liver then there will be the fibrosis and last one it is the failure okay biomarker of the liver simply whenever you have ast alt it is this level you can identify and here basically choline is instigated and cartine and fibrosis level is always question asked with the behalf of pathology failure is the more than one organ involved this is a trick which i already told you now what happened that in this question you have to solve you, have, you see that there is a two option where colic acid and choline use so make it very clear that colic acid is not any kind of intermediate molecule when you study the liver metabolism, metabolism the liver. No doubt urea, transferrin and phosphoridic acid they all are synthesized but here we are talking about the fat. Okay, So carbohydrate, fat and protein the basic molecule and here we are talking about fat. So that the option is phosphoryl phos 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 choline. Now the third question, third question says that uh, uh, what condition may develop for 15 to 20 minutes? what conditions may develop 15 to 30 minutes 
after re-administration of the antigen result in the increased level of the antibody namely IgE. Whenever you see in the question IgE, it is always and always related to the mast cell, basso cells and LHG. The flashcard, bullet points so have to what you have to remember IgE involve allergy. This I told you already. IgM involve acute infection. These two points is very important. Now, fourth question is that a patient underwent a course of treatment of atherosclerosis and the laboratory test revealed increased anti atherogenic lipoprotein fraction of the in the blood plasma so the question is uh, the treatment if you, see, if you can see increase to confirm by so anti atherogenic protein as it is you have to remember in the plus card which is hdi full form is high density lipid this one is the anti and atherosclerotic is the low density lipid they both have been asked okay now this question is again here a patient is found to have the marked dilation of the uh, saphenous vein of the region anterior abdominal bone so this is the condition of the ascites okay now what in blood pressure increase so here we simply remember you have to remember I have told you already always and always portal vein circulation all these things this is the and here the term is given with the portal hepatic in this condition hepatic portal now electron microscope shows the cell to cell adhesion Consisting of in it, actually this one is also repeated. It is a cellular substance filled with the electron dense substance including transparent fibrillar. This one is important. As I told you that whenever you have in the in the option this fibrillar, that means it is desmosome. Okay. Now the question itself says that uh, there is a cell to cell junction. That means there is cell to cell. Simply there will be one and okay tight junction when there is no gap uh, and okay it uh, tight junction where is no gap at the end is one protein use synapse in case of neuron and nexus is a different time in the Russian literature they use what you have to remember that no one I have asked these things before just one thing is being asked again and again about desmosome so whenever you see the fibril protein that is the desmosome okay now let's see the seventh question Seven question says a patient with the fourth blood group genotype has erythrocyte and both antigen A controlled by the and so what you have to remember here that the fourth blood group that simply means there will be the one, two, three and four. So here it says that uh, has erythrocyte both antigen so uh, by allele IgA so uh, so here that uh, erythrocyte there will be the RBC of both sides and antigen of a and b means a and b here present example of so which is the very worldwide famous is the codominance example okay codominance that simply means co means both both are equally expressed very important now the eighth one, uh, eighth question says that a specimen uh, for organ covered with the connective tissue capsule with the tubercle radiating inward the organ and there are also cortex containing the lymph nodules and medullary cord maybe of lymphoid cell. Overall in this question what you have to remember, what how you have to do it is from the histology that it says that uh, there is a, uh, in the class I told you that there is two part in hollow type of organ, the outer one, this one is known as cortex and inner one this one is known as medulla okay now what happened uh, this is actually example you can get in adrenal gland this is also true for the spleen this is also true for the 
corpus luteum and uh, even it is, is also true for the any kind of organ hollow organ they can be applied now how you have to solve this question like it says that a specimen shows the organ so what it is saying it is saying about the lymph nodule lymph for cells okay so in this question the trick that lymph and it is a nodular structure universal nodular structure okay now let's see this one uh, one of the factor that causes the obesity in the inhibition of the fatty acid now which fatty acid as i as i told you we consume fat carb and protein these all do, they give the one common metabolite that is acetyl coenzyme a okay acetyl coenzyme a is combined with carnitine okay and what happens with, with this that this goes to the acetyl carnitine 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 okay and then here the next important thing come that uh, uh, obesity of inhibition of fatty acid oxidation inhibition of fatty acid oxidation so what happened that inside cell there is a nucleus and when inside here okay glucose comes and fatty acid comes then fatty acid get converted first into the carnitine and then it goes to the mitochondria mitochondria in the mitochondria there is beta oxidation beta oxidation of fatty acid this has been asked earlier and now they just ask you the molecule which is used so here acetyl coenzyme a combined with the carnitine and carnitine carnitine have the function carnitine have the function as transfer long chain of fatty acid into mitochondria okay now this one uh, the tenth question it says that uh, uh, yes tenth question says that uh, res uh, rescuation unit has admitted a patient in the grave condition and it has been known that the mistake is sodium fluoride which block the cytochrome oxidase so it has been asked and again the same thing cytochrome oxidase okay this is used for the oxidation or in simple term atp production and more than one cell involved this one was the flash card more than one cell involved that is tissue okay now what type of hypoxia develop that is that has been asked whenever there is a less concentration of oxygen then you can say it is hypoxic or you can say whenever the blood circulatory system is involved like blood vessels are compressed you can say that moment it is a cardiovascular and when there is less supply of oxygen from the outside that is respiratory and uh, when there is a uh, hemoglobin concentration have been increased or decreased that same moment it goes to the hemic okay now let's go for the 11th question it says that a patient of 30 year old has dyspnea mostly mostly at the night diagnosed with the bronchial asthma and uh, what type of allergic reaction according to the goals in so bronchial asthma is kind of allergic stimulation so in the previous concept same repeated it is an athlete okay now the third uh, now the next question 12th question says that a patient hepatitis b diagnosed with the uh, laboratory test uh, okay Diagnosed through the laboratory test, they remind the presence of HbA DNA blood serum. What reference method is used? Reference method used is PCR, polymerase chain reaction. ELISA used basically for the AIDS and viral infection. So here, when uh, now this actually ligase chain reaction method is never asked and hybridization, hybridization signal. So what you have to how to differentiate between them? Like uh, there is ELISA as a confirmatory okay and this one is serological confirmatory 
how to define them uh, just i'm giving you a simple thing simple trick that whenever you see antigen present okay it may be in form of h b s h b s e like this so that moment it is always identify the pcr okay now next question says that a, a 30 37 year old a 30 37 year old female patient complain of the headache vertigo trouble in sleeping and uh, for the last 6 uh, year of his working has gas discharge and uh, there is uh, okay and the uh, lead poisoning processing blood shows so uh, blood finding shows the low hemoglobin so here what i can say rbc low hemoglobin low and there is lead poisoning very important lead poisoning okay and in the class i told you whenever you have the lead poisoning that simply means iron free iron concentration will increase in the blood plasma will increase in the blood plasma now with the increase in the blood plasma so it says that low hemoglobin the serum iron concentration exceeds okay so here how you have how you have to define whenever there is a decrease in this index it is anemia okay and when increase in any kind of content then that is refractory more than normal okay the molecule is iron that's why it is iron refractory anemia now the next question says the patient complain that has a uh, bare mention of the tragic event and uh, one of the cns one second in the life and experience the tachycardia dyspnea and abrupt rise in the blood pressure the tachycardia was seen as responsible for the this cardio respiratory reaction of this patient so if you remember that i also told you that this is the part of brain it is the four mid and hind brain when i take this part only when i take this part only so the anterior one having two lobes that is cerebral cortex they have the very important uh, function to regulation of the cardio pulmonary reaction cardio pulmonary actually here what happened this tachycardia dyspnea and abrupt of the rise blood pressure that has been given okay so simply what you have to remember in this situation like uh, whenever only uh, when we when we talk about when we talk about respiratory center so that moment you have medulla oblongata otherwise when you have the reflex action then the same moment what is going to happen like it will involve it will involve the cerebral cortex anterior part of brain now the next question says the patient uh, complain of the pain in the metatarsal joint and uh, after this formation from the hyperuria means uric acid acid concentration increase so whenever uric acid concentration increases that simply means that concept of xanthin oxidase if you remember that i told you hemoglobin degrade and purine actually purine metabolism then there is uh, xanthin in its form and after xanthin in then there is other second second molecule like uh, so xanthin oxidase involved and it form the uric acid in last and when there is disturbance inhibition of this thing so it is not going to be uh, it is not going to be uh, like uh, uh, converted into the uric acid and uric acid caused the problem which is in the in our uh, yes uric acid caused the problem uh, that in the joints Okay, so here it says that a uh, microscope will the inflammatory glomerulitis reaction. That it means that it is a kind of immune system response and necrotizing mass. Everything has been given. Just this one is the key word. Okay, now sixteen number question. It says that suddenly so developed the. Uh, a complete this, this one is also repeated examination of the marker rigidity spinal puncture from so here the important keyword mini neutrophil mini neutrophil 
and the second thing that gram positive diplococci okay. so in that situation it is neisseria meningitis now the next one is here like uh, uh, during the ventricular system cardiac muscle does not respond to additional stimulation what happened here like see that uh, it is uh, talking about a kind of uh, uh, impulse transmission okay impulse transmission so there are the three stage first every cell is having its resting stage okay so in the resting stage if i make it more clear so what happened that there is a resting stage then after that what happened there is depolarization and then there is repolarization okay cells are basically polarized in the initial symptom due to the sodium potassium pump now what happened that there are two type of uh, tissue present like cardiac and here cardiac and muscle in both they are talking now what happened like in the case of heart in the case of heart we have like this ecg and also there is a, here if you see not this here if you see that easily this part is having if i make a depolarization and repolarization i will just i just i wrote there so whenever you have like uh, this one okay, I'm not sure. yeah. okay now the situation is here like uh, uh, this uh, side there here so the two graph it is like this okay so the first one will be depolarization and then there is a repolarization another one in case of heart it is like this which i told you already in the class now here what happened that it is about this this period and due to what kind of two ion in 2019 has been asked and 2020 that is calcium okay refractiveness period calcium plus sodium they both are involved in this mechanic once they ask calcium once they are, have been asked questions based on sodium so they both are there if you, any one of them come then you are going to give the correct answer okay now the next one it says that uh, okay this one is also repeated it is macular densa how like uh, you whenever you have afferent and arterial and glomerular bowman capsule and here the cell touching the distal commuter tubule So in the distal conflictable that is this part okay that is macular dancer now this one is also repeated one it says that uh, result of the continuous chronic encephalopathy present the spontaneous motion and disorder on the torso muscle tone whenever you have torso muscle tone disturbance this is always rubro spine tract of rubro spine so here you can make it like this torso muscle tone distal so it is always tract of rubro spine okay now the next one next one it says it says simply uh, there is a uh, there is a cause inhalation of the large amount of coal dust and there is the inhale the coal dust and in the pulmonary cells where they will be detected so if you remember i told you uh, before in the class that there are two types of cells blood cells the blood cells are two types a granular and granular and origin basis i told you the monocytes monocytes they get converted into the tissue in the form of macrophages okay they are like they act, act like a local phages okay and uh, here i also have told you this situation that a granular and granular granular contain <coughs> sorry uh, granular uh, 
oh, sorry, granular con here granular cells which what they contain granular cells are uh, cells are like basophils eosinophils and neutrophils and in the a granular there are two type monocytes and lymphocytes lymphocytes two two type t cells and b cells now these monocytes when they go to the tissue uh, tissue site so they converted into the macrophage so here what happened like it is alveolar macrophage in case of pulmonary okay now the next question it says that inherited disease such mucopolysaccharide mucopolysaccharidosis it is mucopolysaccharide manifest in metabolic disorder of connective tissue bone joints and uh, a uh, sign of disease is excessive urinary excretion of excessive urinary excretion so glycosamine it okay in, uh, just it is just trying to ask you inherited disease where there is a prolonged uh, there is a because of the disturbance of the metabol metabolite actually mucopolysaccharide itself will give the answer that is glycosaminoglycan others are different because it's lipid urea amino acid and glucose when talking about the glucose glucose i think you know because i have told it is a monosaccharide and it is saying poly the poly is glycosaminoglycans okay now look at this question it says that a patient consulted a physician about the chest pain fever and rheumatoid lung lung revealed the eosinophilic infiltration and they are found contained in larva okay what kind of elements so so containing larva and uh, eosinophilic infiltrate so in this situation uh, the what answer goes that is ascariasis why because uh, fasciculiasis trichomonas and they are having the diff they have the rosin in the blood plasma and you will find their morphological feature and structure in case of ascariasis only you get the baby bottle that is larva that trick i told you already that you have larva and here r r e r e r okay now to the sufficient diameter circular remove a surgical uh, surgical remove of cavity listen the 2 cm in diameter with large cavity and the cavity contain muddy thick and yellow greenish and present microscopic or proton sort of polymorphic nuclear leukocytes what pathological process so as i told you whenever you have cavity more than 1 cm it is always chronic it is abscess because it can it, this is the definition of the abscess muddy thick yellow greenish and unpleasant to smell it is abscess okay chronic here and it's abscess because of that now the 24th question says that a patient have here due to the use of the poor quality muscle vaccine the prevent vaccination autoimmune renal injury okay i told you again and again that urine formation having three step filtration reabsorption and secretion whenever you have autoimmune injury that moment there's their pores their pores get wider okay and that is the problem with the filtration whenever you have option with uh, when you have to disease, disease of autoimmune now let's see the 24th question it says that a uh, history of recurrent tiger of heartbeat proximus and perceived pers sweating uh had a examination given the hypotension hyperglycemia hypotension hypoglycemia and please increase his hypoglycemic metabolic rate tachycardia so uh, this symptoms are related with the noradrenaline or adrenaline i can say epinephrine or noradrenaline they are the combined known as once they ask the term another term that was the catecholamine okay and catecholamine secreted from the again inner part of the adrenal gland that is the medulla okay so simply means if it is increased that increased production of the catecholamine and the catecholamine are the 
not a prisoner, I think they have asked it many times and if I tell you truly that every year this has, has been asked. Now here it says that 26 question, uh, 20, uh, 12 year old child has a viral infection complicated by the obstructive bronchitis, bronchiospas, pass, eliminating by the nation of the drug. So when you have the bronchiospas, pass, B elimination by the uh, can be eliminated by the inhalation of which drug can be given that is beta 2 agonist salbutamol okay now 27 question it is again that same here tachycardia tremor of the extremities and dystrophy so it is the side effect side effect which is the which interact which involve with the blood pressure okay it is thyroid Okay. All others are the here, they have a suppressive effect. In this question, I told you even in my previous video as well, whenever you have Congo is positive, it is always amyloidosis. Okay. Now, 29 here it says uh, during cell division occur by signal from the cytoplasm, but in portion of DNA unwind. So, portion of DNA helix unwind. It is like this. So when it is this portion, when it is it's like this. So it is helical part. Okay. Now the last question of the terminology. It is of actually all of them were repeated. And uh, during appendectomy, there was appendix like it is the vessel branch of the following artery. Appendectomy. This is our up, uh, lower pelvic zone, okay. This is upper one, we have here umbilical, okay. So, basically, this zone, this zone is large intestine, this one is sigmoid. So, what happened just behind that there is a large thick blood vessel, carota and vena cava. So, here it is saying about appendix, appendix is this one. Anatomically, here ileum and calcium present. So it is iliopolypa. Mesenteric inferior, it is this this point. Sigmoid, we will talk about this point. Okay. Colica media externa, that is the external. It is not appendix because colica or individual no, ileum and colic, their joints are their appendix formation, little finger like. Colica dextra. That is the right side of the colic. It is here somehow. And the extra is Latin in the first year, you all know. And the second, and the second thing was the it is the right side and the sinister, it is the left side. Okay. So this one all it was a hundred percent repeated question paper in the terminology, and uh, you guys are going to get it. Okay. Now if you have any doubt, you can tell me. I will give you the solutions and uh, this one I just try I, everything I haven't cleared in the class just it's a kind of revision for you with the flashcards right okay thank you